Hi, I'm going to show you how to use Jupyter on RackM, that's an upmarked computer cluster called RackM, and we're going to use ThinLink for it, so that's a remote desktop environment. First thing is log into RackM, so I've googled already for RackM computer cluster ThinLink, you get this URL and that's what you need to go to. Put in your upmax username, type in your upmax password, and use your upmax to factor authentication number. So this is something new, uh, add it at the end, and you're in. So let's take a look what we need to do more. So just taking a look at this course documentation, we need to sta start an interactive job, so it's more or less this. I'm going to put this at the left hand of the screen, so I'm going to copy paste this. And because if it, because if it's because it's thin link, I'm just gonna type it there. So we have at the left we have what I'm gonna type. At the right we have our thin link environment. This is on Rackham. We need to start an interactive job. So let's do that. Interactive. You see me type here at the bottom right. This is the terminal uh, on Upmax. Interactive, capital A. Project number, nice, 2023, 22, and we're going to use this for one hour. So this is to start an interactive job, uh, capital A, nice, that's a project number, dash T is the time I want to be running this. So I'm starting this interactive job, uh, because I'm on the login node now, I don't want the people to bother to, to be it, it's a shared login node, so I want to have my own node, so I don't bother other people with cluttering up their, their working memory. So this means it will now be looking for a, a, a new node, it will request a node um, for to, to run for one hour, and then I can do there everything I want. So it takes a bit of time to get started, but that's all okay. Um, it should not take longer than a minute, so I'm... So there we have our login node. And a, a worker node this is called. And the worker node is called R483. So re worker 483. R, I don't know what the R means, probably Rackham. Rackham 483. Rackham 483. So that's the node, we're the worker node we're running on now. But and, um, and 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 this, this is our own, so we can do whatever we want with this. All right, let's do a module load Python. I'm gonna load the regular Python, and then we're gonna start Jupyter notebook dash dash ip zero 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 dash dash no dash browser. Run it, and this starts. Uh, Jupyter, the Jupyter Notebook. Well, then you need to copy-paste this URL, so it, it gives you three. I'm going to copy-paste the top one. Copy link address. I'm going to start a browser. And then I'm going to delete this URL. I'm going to paste this URL I got. I press enter. And here I have my Jupyter Notebook. Uh, it's starting up, but you already see the logo, and here we can run our Python calculations. I don't have a Jupyter Notebook here, uh, but I got it running. So this is how you run Jupyter Notebooks on Rackham using Syndlink. I wish you a very good day. Bye.